Welcome to CAMSAT TV for uh, 2018 at the Dubai World Trade Center in our virtual studio down here on the stand with Oasis Enterprises. With me now, I have the CEO from Arab Format Labs. Welcome, Khalid, to CAMSAT TV. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good to have you here. You took part in one of the panel discussions today, and it was all about developing uh, innovative Arabic content yes. for a shifting viewer demographic. Give exactly. me some detail on that. You know, there are facts. Uh, the are facts of life in the Middle East that we continue, broadcasters, producers, ignore. Uh, for example, we have 55% decrease in share of uh, viewing for Western drama, for Hollywood dramas. While with the mediocre Arabic content, we have an increase in share of viewing for Arabic content by 40%. We have uh, advertising revenue in Egypt going by 40%, and still we are producing everything in Egypt. So. There is a change, there is a fact, let's say from a financial point of view, you know, it's time to wake up and smell the coffee and understand that this is a business like any other businesses. And we're happy, I'm, I'm a part of a Saudi company and we are part of this 2030 vision um, where we are creating infrastructure, we're changing, we need to change the way we do things, you know. And you're very passionate about this, I aren't you? I love it, I love it. <laughs> I started, the, the, I was working with the pay TV platform and uh, I launched the first premium Arabic uh, uh, channel on that pay TV platform which had 160 channels and the channel within one year was number one. So, you know, in, in the market we're snobbing talent, we're snobbing local content and we say, you know, if, you know whether OTT or pay TV platforms say we cannot compete with free to air, they have lots of money and we keep focusing on niche. And, and free to air, they keep working the way they have been working all the time. Repetition, same things, without looking at the infrastructure and investing in, they think technology is a media, but actually it's the local talent. So I can talk about this forever, but I, the whole thing is we're changing the way we're doing uh, things uh, when it comes to content development and production. And the focus is local talents. And do you find any uh, resistance to this change being put through? Actually, I was part of a broadcasting, so I was a corporate. Yes, at that time, you know, you're, you know, you're always looking at numbers and you're looking at data and paralysis by analysis. <laughs> but uh, being now a producer and content development, uh, you know, actually I'm seeing the opposite. I'm, I'm so, you know, touched by the fact when I go and do casting in Saudi for comedy. So, uh, for example, we're opening the first the Saudi theater uh, and we're doing 20 theatrical plays. Uh, as of February. So I was going around the um, Saudi, the, the kingdom, looking at talent and it touched me, you know, the amount of talent. You know, you had people coming over, they have jobs, leaving their jobs and just coming just for the casting. So I really the, the, see that there's everything around us now is much more positive. Uh, change is good. So, you know, it, What's happening in Saudi Arabia is, is amazing. Also, the focus of in UAE and the Gulf on talent and on the industry also is amazing. So, they do say, don't they? Being in the right place at the right time is is a is a blessing. And do you think, you know, looking forward to 2018, 2019, do you think the time has now come for for this initiative? I think yes. I think uh, everyone is looking to you know to, to advance whether you know you, you know your, your bottom numbers you know so uh, and we all recognize that uh, if we continue doing the same thing we will continue having the same results so uh, investing in writers room in the Middle East uh, looking at bringing formats but not only bringing formats ideas but also developing bringing expertise to develop local content and also you know export and import of ideas we don't have any programs out of the Middle East that represent us as as Arabs or our culture so it's it's time for us to look at producing Arabic content on an international premium level well let's see what happens in the next couple of years yeah I promise you it's going to be brilliant stuff thank you very much for your time thank you okay for the latest of course from uh, everything to do with Arab Format Labs and indeed everything from CAMSAT 2018 head online download the latest app get all the news and information there at CAMSAT.com